So in this power world video, I'm going to be bringing you guys an insane experience glitch as well as a money farm and you'll be getting plenty of golden keys from this, which those are used to unlock chests that specifically require golden keys. And at the end of this, I'll be showing you all a glitch over the fastest way to get pals. This is an extremely useful glitch to get just a ton of different pals really quick. They contain some good loot. And to top it off, you can do this at any level. There is no level requirement over doing this. It is so simple. It may take a little longer the lower level you are, but you can't do this at any level. Where you want to go is right over here on the map, right where my base is located at. As you can see, here's the nearest fast travel point, the Desolate Church. Once you fast travel over here, you just want to head over here. The reason why I placed my base here is because it makes this farm a little bit more efficient just in case something may happen you can possibly die from doing this but even if you do you'll spawn right here and you'll be able to go right back in and attempt this again but it's definitely not required to have a base by here because for the most part mess ups aren't going to happen when doing this glitch most of the time this glitch will work at least from my experience it's worked so yeah once you get over here here's what the area will look like some of you may be familiar with this area this is one of the areas where you can find the black market vendor at which is how this farm is done we're going to be farming the black market vendor over and over without him attacking back whatsoever this is so convenient so yeah let's go inside this abandoned mine shaft here down in this tunnel is where we can find the black market vendor. I will advise to bring a torch when you come down here, because if you don't have a torch on, it gets extremely dark. You will notice some weird light flickering issues down in here too, but it's no big deal. After all, we're still in early access. I think it's only an Xbox issue too, to be real. But uh, yeah, anyways, as you can see, I'm now down here at the black market vendor. In case you don't know about him, you're able to buy rare pals from him. And keep in mind, his pals will switch up. He'll switch up his inventory over time, so yeah. You can also sell pals to him too, to stock up on some quick gold. But anyways, we can also glitch him out so we can easily take him out or capture him. How this is done is by first off, making sure you command your pals to attack aggressively. You can pull up this menu by just clicking in the stick if you're on Xbox. And then just choose this option here, command attack aggressively. So now my pals are going to attack as soon as I spawn them out. What I want to do is spawn my pal right out with him and then talk to him while this dialogue is pulled up right and then if done correctly he'll be glitched out now as you can see my pal is just going ham on the black market vendor right now i can back out of this menu too if i want does you don't really have to have this pulled up but you can see his health bar right there i will mention though it did seem to work more efficiently if i did have his menu up it seemed like he would bug more often he's getting hurt quite a bit and he just died. Well, he has a little bit of health left. There, now he just died. As you saw though, when I backed out of the menu, he was still frozen there. And I got 30,000 uh, gold coins, over 60,000 experience, and a few golden keys. Now, once you get all this stuff, all you gotta do is go to options, and we're not gonna choose respawn. We're actually gonna return the title. It's more efficient this way. Once you return the title, you just want to start up another game and go back to your world that you were just in. Once back in, you should spawn inside that mineshaft with the Black Marketeer back. Voila! That took no time at all. It doesn't have to be done with that specific POW I was using either. Heck, I could use a Black Marketeer against him if I wanted to. Spawn in a Black Marketeer against him if I wanted to. But nah, I'm just going to this time... Just use Gale Claw for an example here. So spawn them in, have attack aggressively on, and just be in a conversation with them. Yeah, he's glitched out. Look at that. He's just chilling. And my Gale Claw can just attack him. I can also attack him if I wanted to. But I'm just letting you see that you don't even have to do nothing. Your pals will get to attack him over and over and over, and he'll just be frozen here. So, once again, all you gotta do is just make sure you have command attack aggressively on, and then spawn in your pal and talk to him. And make sure you have dialogue going on before your pal attacks him, and he should glitch out. Bam, look at all that XP, though, from Gale Claw taking him out. And if he doesn't glitch out and you end up dying, oh well. You know, you can always just come right back here. Just respawn, then go to the desolate church, fast shower point, then just make your way back over here. 
where he's located at. Or you can set up a base here so you can just get over here really quickly if something does mess up. But but for the most part, I had barely little uh, mess ups. It seemed to work pretty continuously without anything uh, wrong going on. As you can see though, I got uh, about 40,000 gold coins there and once again, a few more gold keys. And by the way, if I'm getting more uh, XP and gold than you, it's just because my custom settings are different than yours. I'll go ahead and show you real quick for those of you that may be curious on how am I getting that much XP and stuff. But that doesn't mean this farm isn't going to be good for you to level up and get a bunch of money. It's still good. You're able to do this really easily without him attacking back. You're still going to level up quite a bit, even if you're playing on the normal settings. But as you can see, I changed my experience rate all the way up to 20. That's how I'm getting uh, so much XP per time taking them out. I just have what I want activated. It doesn't mess with the achievements, so why not, right? Also, I got it so drop rates are higher. So yeah, that might be why. It doesn't mess with the achievements if that's what you're worried about or something. But yeah, when I spawn back in, he'll be right here once again. I just want to show you that this works three times in a row for you guys. Just want to prove to you. So I'm right. I just spawned right back in from the title screen. He's already here. And you can use whatever pal you want. It doesn't have to be a specific pal. So I got to make sure command attack aggressively is toggled. And then I'm just going to spawn in him and talk. Buy contraband. You know, while I'm just sitting here. Alright, he's frozen. He's glitched out. Basically, as soon as your pal attacks him, he gets glitched out. And also, I recommend once again to just keep this menu up. It seemed like it worked more when I had it up. But uh, yeah, since we're on this topic of cheesing him, you can also catch him as well, and it's actually really beneficial too. He's not the strongest to get out. All he's going to do is just melee. He doesn't actually use his gun, unfortunately. But there is this neat little glitch that you can do with him if you do capture him. So what you want to do when you do got him is just simply put him at work at your base. So just head up to your pal box and then just select the black marketeer and put him to work at your base. This will spawn him in where you'll be able to trade with him. So check this out. This is what he currently has. He's got these for sale right now. Nothing really that I'm looking for. Uh, I do like that logging foreman passive skill for this Robin Quill though, but nothing really out of the ordinary that I'm really looking for. How to reset his inventory instantaneously is just put him back in your pal box and then put him back to work immediately. And check this out. He'll have a total different inventory. This time he has some King Pacas. Nice. And he's got a Cognito. I love this pal right here. Cognito is awesome. So does King Paca. I'll go ahead and buy one of them. <laughs> Anyways, I'll go ahead and show you it in action again. Just put them in my pal box and put them back to work. And voila! Total different inventory of pals. So this is literally the fastest way to get pals. Just keep doing this money farm to build up your coins. And then just capture them and then instantly spawn them at your base over and over to get different pals every time. It's different random pals every single time. Very fast way to uh, get a bunch of different pals you may not have. Like a sweeper here. And it has the muscle head passive skill, nice. And then once you start running low on coin again, all you gotta do is just start doing that glitch again to get experience and money. But yeah, I guess that's wrapping up this video. Hopefully something in here is able to help you out. I genuinely just wanted to post this to hopefully help out some more Power World players before the developers may patch this out of the game. The more this gets shared around, the more players will get to experience these freaking amazing glitches that are currently still in the game. But yeah, as always, thanks for taking the time watching and listening. Until next time, peace.